in this tutorial i am going to discuss a programming question jewels and stones so the problem statement is given two strings j and s j represents the type of stones that are jewels and s represents the stones you have each character in s is a type of stone you have and you want to know how many of these stones you have are also jewels the letters in j are guaranteed distinct so uh, j only consists of unique letters and all characters in j and s are letters and letters are case sensitive so a is considered to a different type of stone from a so now let's understand this problem statement through an example so in the first example you if you see uh, the string s j and s so s represents the stones we have so we have three type of stones so one is a one is capital a and one is small b so the count of a is one and the count of a is two and the count of b is four and if we see how many of these stones that we have are jewels so you can see uh, so a uh, we have one count and a we have two counts so total we have uh, three jewels and in the second example if you see we have only one type of stone and its count is two so it's capital z and the jewel we have a small uh, uh, z so we don't have this type of stone so obviously the count is zero so we return zero and s and j will consist of letters and have length at most 50 and the characters in j are distinct so all the characters in j are unique so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss multiple approaches and their time complexities to solve this problem let's discuss our first approach so the simplest approach is to iterate uh, this string s so the stones we have and take one character at a time and check whether this character is a jewel if it is then increment uh, the value of count variable and we have to repeat this process until this string is traversed completely and after that we know that how many of these stones are jewels so we uh, return its count so let's see how, how we can do uh, do it uh, through this code so first uh, i i have declared two variables and assign uh, the length of this string and this string and declare one variable count which tells you how many of these stones are 12 and then run two for loops so the outer loop represent uh, the character of this string and the inner loop represent the character of this string and so let's say first we take that character and we compare with this so we found uh, that this character is a jewel so we incremented its count and we and after that we break the loop so we know that uh, each character in this string in in the string j is is unique is distinct so we don't uh, need to move further we can break this loop and we can move to next iteration then we pick this character and we check uh, is this character and this characters are same no then we move to next character is this uh, is, is both the characters are same yes then again we incremented the count and then we move to next iteration in which we pick this character and we compare with this character is is this character capital a and small a are same no so we move to next character is capital a and capital a are same so yes so we incremented its count and then we move to next iteration then we pick this character b and we compare with a and a so we repeat this process until this uh, string is traversed completely and after that we return its count so in this case it's three and now let's talk about its time and space complexity so now suppose the length of this string is s and the length of this string is j so we are using two for loops so uh, the time complexity is s cross j and the space complexity is o1 we are not using any extra space now let's uh, see how we can improve our solution we want to know how many stones are jewel jewels and to solve this problem what we can do is we can iterate this string and we can 
create a map of stones and its counts so s represents the stones we have and each character represent uh, the stone so we can create a map of character and its counts so let's first create a map of character and its count in hash map we put only key and value pair so in this case key is the character and value is its count the number of time this character occur in this string so let's put all the character and its count in this uh, hash map and also key is always unique in a hash map so when i when i traverse this string so here is the code to put key value pair in a map so i take uh, this character and i check whether this character is already present in a map if it is then give me its previous count else return its default value which is zero and then add one to it so uh, this record this character is not present in a hash map so a and its count which is one the next character is a and it's also not present in a map so, so a and one and the next character is a so a is present in a map so give me its previous count so previous count is one and then i add one to it and now its count is two and uh, similarly uh, we put b and initially it is not there so we put one next time give me its previous count which is one then we add one and plus one which is two and then again we put them in a map uh, similarly uh, for this record and for this record and the final count is four now we know uh, each so the number of stones and its count so what we can do is we can traverse uh, this string and we check uh, whether uh, this is stone so this jewel so this stone is a type of jewel whether this stone we have this stone if we have then uh, give me its count so we traverse uh, this string and so the first character is a so give me its count so the its count is one so we take one so the value of count is one initial value of count is zero and when we add one to it it's one then we move to this character and we check whether uh, this jewel uh, so uh, whether this stone uh, we have this stone which is a jewel so yes uh, we find them in a map and we get its count which is two so the previous count uh, so the previous value of count is one now the new value let's add two to it and now its count is three so after that we came out of this loop and we return its count three so we have three stone which are 12 now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is so uh, let's say the time complex uh, so the length of uh, this string is j and the length of this string is s so the time complexity is s plus j and what about its space complexity so its space complexity is o of s so we are uh, keeping uh, the character of this string and its count so in worst case all the character is unique so we put all the character and its count and now let's see how we can solve this problem in constant time by just modifying uh, this code in our previous approach we have solved this problem using hash map and in this approach instead of using hash map we used fixed size array to solve this problem so let's understand what's the logic behind it so we know that the ascii code of a is 65 uh, b is 66 c is 67 and it goes up to z which is uh, 90 and the ascii code of lowercase a is 97 b is 98 and it goes up to z which is 122 so we i have declared an array of size 123 so its index start from 0 and it goes up to 122 and then what i can do is i can traverse this string and take each character and instead of uh, keeping the value in hash map so keeping the key value pair in hash map so if we print uh, the if we convert the character into int what it prints it prints the ascii code and so what 
what we can do is we can go to that index and increment its value so here uh, int is a primitive value so when we declared an array of this type so the uh, initial value is zero at each index and then i traverse this array and take this uh, character and now uh, we go to that index so it will uh, convert it to its ascii value so ascii value of a is 97 we go to that index so uh, initial value is 0 and we increment its value so value is incremented 1 and then uh, the next one is a so we go to uh, its uh, so its ascii value represent the index so we go to that index and we increment its value and the next character is a so new value is 2 similarly b so its ascii code is 98 so go to that index and increment its value so uh, the next is b so 2 similarly 3 and then 4 so the final value is 4 now we came out of this loop and uh, the next set of statement is traverse this string take each character go to that index and see uh, uh, see its value so uh, this character is a we go to uh, the index 97 and the value is 1 so we add 1 to it now let's say if it is let's say d then what happens so we go to uh, the index which is equivalent to its ascii code and it is 100 so we go to 100 index and we get its value 0 so we add 0 to the uh, to this variable so now the character is a so we get one so we initial value is zero so we add one to it then the next character is a we go to that index this index i mean 65 and we take the value present at this index which is two and now its value is three so uh, count is three then we came out of this loop and we return its count now so instead of using hash map we use the fixed size array which does not vary with the input length so the uh, so the space here is constant uh, so uh, what about its time and space complexity so, so the time complexity is similarly so similar i mean if you if we take uh, the length is j and this length is s so the time complexity is s plus j and the space complexity is o1 so the space remains always constant it does not vary with the input length so that's why it's o and uh, o1 and now let's see the main method in this main method i have declared two strings and i am calling this method and i have passed both the string as an argument and that's it for this video tutorial and in this tutorial i have discussed three approaches to solve this problem and and for more such uh, programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to like this video